Jail Bajaj Institute of Management and Research. And uh, today, on behalf of whole Jail Bajaj family, I feel honored to welcome Mr. D.K. Bakshi Ji, also known as Mr. Motivator, who is uh, Chief Mentor and CEO Global Talent Company Limited. Um, Ms. Tahira and um, Varsha Kushwaha, ma'am, as well. Dr. Ajay Kumar, sir, Director, uh, Jail Bajaj Institute of Management and Research. Faculty members and dear students to this uh, very interesting webinar on COVID 5S Salvage, Stress, Spectacular, Self Belief Sublime. And this, this is a steps for future leader success under expert talk series. Uh, the webinar is organized by Jail Bajaj Institute of Management and Research. And uh, this institute, institute was established in 2007 under able guidance of Sri Pankaj Agrawalji, Vice Chairman, Jail Bajaj Educational Institutions. This is a premium institute, runs postgraduate diploma in management program with an objective to make the students the best management professionals with innovative skills. Also for its academic excellence, the institute has received many awards and accolades. So today we have amongst us a very energetic and versatile personality, Mr. Motivator D.K. Bakshi Ji a well-known HRD consultant, facilitative trainer, and an expert in leadership capability building. Bakshi Ji is Chief Mentor and CEO Global Talent Company Limited, uh, Secretary General India, Thai Business Association Executive Director India, Thai Chamber of Commerce, Executive Director Association of Indians and Thailand. DKG has delivered workshops for globally reputed organizations on uh, his own training modules such as Roadmap to Success, Building Passionate, Powerful to name a few. His most recent assignment was Vice President Global Human Resources with Indor Indorma Global at Bangkok, Thailand, covering three continents, Asia, America, and Europe. DK Urji over the years has trained around 2 lakh corporate leaders and around 1 lakh future leaders. And Bangkok Post, the leading English newspaper of Thailand, started calling him Mr. Motivator in the year 2004 due to regular contribution of articles on Roadmap to Success. Companies like Hero Motors, Maruti Suzuki India Limited, LG India, Aditya Birla Group, and more than 40 companies are his regular client. So we once again extend our heartfelt greetings and welcome DK Bakshi Ji. Thank you so much for your consent to join us today. We also have amongst us Dr. Ajay Kumar sir, Director Jail Bajaj Institute of Management and Research, an ardent personality with diverse experience of 32 years in academic research, training and consultancy. Sir always motivate people around him with his thought-provoking ideas and actions. Sir has conducted more than 600 seminars and conferences and actively spreading awareness on pandemic COVID-19. I would now, now like to invite our Director Dr. Ajay Kumar sir for welcome address. Please so. Very good afternoon to all participants. Good afternoon, uh, sir. Honorable guest, uh, DK Bakshi Ji. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Other eminent guests from Singapore, faculty members, and my dear students. Today we have got a great opportunity not only to meet and interact with uh, uh, Mr. DK Bakshi, but to listen to his. Uh, idea and his, uh, I mean, uh, words of wisdom also on COVID, he describes it five ways, salvage, stress, spectacular, self-belief, sublime. I had requested him to give a talk on the stress management. That was, that was a very generic uh, topic which I had asked him. And he came up with uh, five different topics, few which he has been deliberating in different uh, conferences, different seminars, different webinars also. Finally, he suggested me that uh, he can give a talk for the benefits of these students and faculty members on this subject. All of you know that change is never comfortable and creates a sense of uncertainties, uneasiness and distress. The coronavirus outbreak has become one of the biggest threats of mankind across the globe. One of the major changes that these uh, cautionary procedures have brought is lockdown and social distancing, all of you know. It is not only affecting individuals, but also societies as a whole, even household. The prevalent situation is sprouting major emotional and psychological challenges among people. 
the few which I can count is social isolation, burdened with this more responsibilities, emotional triggers, health anxiety, uncertainty, concern of career, irritability, which leads to anger, loss of focus and attention, restlessness, monotony, and many, many more. Even there are several cases where this isolation has also created this, this uh, work from home condition or stay home condition has also created differences in the family. All of you know that all the families do not live with uniform order. Uniformities never remain in order in all the family. There are differences also. So this forced uh, lockdown for those people, those people have brought more stress, more tension, more frustration and division too. But there are families, there are people who are also taking this particular period as an opportunity to learn, to collaborate, to become more friendly, to become more closer and to understand each other. So a lot of challenges are there, but yes, one common factor remains, that is stress. And one more thing, you are not able to socialize. You can have webinars, you can have telephonic talk, but still, one thing which remained uh, very important for any uh, causal relation, I can say, is not only familiarizing with anyone, but meeting with anyone, patting someone, touching someone, holding someone. So such opportunities are going to be uh, out of order or out of place, not only for the period of lockdown, but for the, in the future also. So on this subject, naturally, uh, discussions can be held for long, but today we have got uh, one expert whom I knew for the last many years and whom I tried to contact in between also, but uh, I was not having numbers. Suddenly I saw him in a program and it was my luck that I uh, got a call also and immediately I rushed to get connected. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, I would request Arpana now to yes, get this and be yeah. started. Yes, sure, sir. Thank you so much for your insights. Definitely, uh, stress is uh, quite high and we are unable to socialize and for tackling how we, we can tackle these things, we have expert Dr. D.K. Bakshi ji today. Before I move forward, I would like to inform you all that as we are conducting this webinar on Zoom and we have limitation of continuing one session for 40 minutes only, uh, we may get disconnected in between. So I would request our expert speaker and the participants Again. to please connect us back by clicking on the same link. So now I would request DK Bakshi ji to please deliberate upon the theme of the webinar and enlighten us with your expert views. Please, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Namaste and Savaji Khap. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste and Savaji Khap is in Thailand. We actually do it the same way, the way we do Namaste. And as a global Indian, I feel really honored that around the world, everybody is today following Namaste and yes, Namaste. Namaste. And this is so powerful. And I, I, I certainly believe if we will have, after six months, one year, going back to handshake, but this Namaste, the divinity in me, is saluting the divinity in you, and the divinity in you is saluting the divinity in me. Okay. This is very powerful and every Indian must, must feel proud that whatever circumstances COVID, but this will become the power of the world. Namaste. First of all, let me thank Dr. Ajay Kumar for inviting me to this talk this afternoon with GL Bajaj faculty and students my association with Mr. Kumar is almost 25 years back and as he rightly said, we lost touch. But finally, 
he could correct me and I said, my God, and I gave him a call. <laughs> so this is what the COVID has done. Yes, I yes, that's true. to one of my classmates who studied with me in fourth standard, in fourth standard in a school called National High School, Shirinagar, Kashmir. I'm from Kashmir, I'm a Kashmiri pundit. So you know, Kashmiri pundits what has gone through, what we have gone through. So, and yesterday this guy connected me from US. He said, hey, oh. is you on LinkedIn. So that is the power, Dr. Kumar, uh, this COVID finally has given us, we see this kind of unprecedented approach on the human race. Just few weeks back, we all were in schools, colleges, universities, offices, malls, restaurants, flights, playgrounds, bars, marriages, birthday parties, night outs. These days, the fashion is ladies' night outs, etc., etc. But within a few days, weeks, everything is trashed to ground, and most of the population is in lockdown. Yet, we are all here. <coughs> that is the beauty of human race, the beauty of technology, the beauty of digitalization. We are challenged but we have turned this into a greater opportunity. What we are seeing is disaster, fear of losing life, so-called social distancing, and look at us, we are turning the tide and getting emotionally more connected. I can tell you I have got emotionally more connected to a lot of people. I have fallen in love with people because of COVID. I am here to talk about five S, salvage, stress, spectacular, self-belief, sublime, steps of future leaders' success. We need to embrace this. Again, turn the challenge into socially responsible approach. And I would like to repeat the subject this is a very important subject. Five S, salvage, stress, spectacular, celebly, sublime, steps for future leaders' success. And including, I mean, uh, faculty and all of us' success. I believe all of you already know about COVID-19 and its impact. But as a group, as a team, as a country, as a global world, let's define how we can get out of this bright, brighter as well as stronger. Because one thing is for sure, this will end. This is going to end. And you, the future of this country and world will need to take it forward. When I talk about India as a country, which I feel very proud to be a global Indian, you know, India is the youngest country in the world. I call it Young India. Are students listening to me? Dr. Ajay Kumar, uh, yes. Students? Yes, 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 students are yes. there. We have around is, 70 participants. Yes, these students, I call them Young India, our talent, our wisdom has taken us globally every part of the world and Indian talent is being appreciated because of commitment, hard work towards excellence, 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 excellence and excellence. Now the question really is, young how does it turn the challenge into opportunity? What is the framework? There are no rights, there are no wrong answers. But having seen many cyclic ups and downs over my lifetime, when I said over my lifetime, when I lost my father, I was 15 years old. My brother was 13. Uh, my sister was 13, my younger brother was 11 years old. And Later, you have seen we moved out of that beautiful valley of Kashmir 
and my mother, when she lost her father, when her, lost her husband, she was only 41. So we have seen many challenges that all of us, brothers, sisters, are globally today working in the world and contributing to uh, various, uh, you know, professional as well as society we are working on. So I am talking about myself as a cyclic ups and downs. And that is where I will share the experience of the framework which I designed and talk about virus. First of all, I would address these future leaders, this young India, as the young youngest star of the world. I call them the youngest star of the world. I repeat my students who are the youngest star of the world. The world needs you. But world will need you in case you are disciplined, in case you make the best of your talent and take it forward anywhere around the world. India is respected, regarded, and our talent is one of the best talent, youngest star. So youngest star cannot be stress in stress. <laughs> The youngest star should not be in this stress. I can, I can understand. This youngest star was, is a world of zomatization, uberization, polarization, and whatnot. We have never seen zomatization or uberization or olarization. We, have, we still come from that uh, morning 10 o'clock Mahabharata and Ramayana, and we want to repeat this time. And when you see Ramayana again, this time after 30 years, it has given a different thinking altogether. So when I am talking about Yangistan, I am talking to this Yangistan today that this virus, that this COVID-19, this coronavirus, actually has given a lot of learning to all of us. And we need to hit back. We need to really get ready to hit back. That is the role of Yangistan. The world is looking at you. I will not name the countries, but for sure, India is going to be real superpower of the world. Many countries in Europe, US, will move a lot of stuff and start <coughs> working in it. We know all because of what. So there will be huge opportunities in three, four, five, six months in India, wherein new setups will come. Because that is where the power of India trust. And we need to continue and enhance the trust in the world. The Americans, the Europeans, the British, the Canadians, the Singaporeans, the Thais. Everyone has to look at India talent, India discipline, as the best discipline in the world. Our products, our services, has to be quality, quality, quality. Therefore, when I'm talking about 5S, I'm first talking about the first point, salvage. What is salvage? So far as I know, salvage is firefighting, firefighting, firefighting. We are right now in the firefighting mode. Yangistan and the faculty members of this Yangistan, when disaster comes, this is where we need to really act, act, act. I am repeating act many times. That means we need to take action, action, action. Because we need to salvage human lives. You see it happening every day. My greatest respect to the medical staff around the world, the doctors, the sisters, the nurses, the supporting staff in the medical hospitals. They are working for hours together. Some of the people are returning home after 15 days, 14 days, 13 days. Some of them got victimized. 
we have seen some of the best doctors lost their lives in Italy and other places. And some of them have gone to this coronavirus. I will also get coronavirus. I will also get this COVID. I think we need to really be very clear now in our mind by this time that somewhere we all will get this coronavirus or COVID. Next one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months. It is not going to go away tomorrow. <coughs> but we have to be ready to fight with this. In first week, when it started, at that point of time, you know, we always thought that this is going to be a little temporary. But now we are understanding that this is not temporary, this is going to be a bigger one. So when we are talking about the first S, that salvage, look at these gods on earth, these doctors. They start affecting. And your role, I am especially talking to the Yangistan, young India, and of course faculty as well, is salvaging people from becoming mad. You know what kind of madness? We are a loss of lives of people. Kids and kings. People are losing jobs. You know what's going to economy. We have been fighting with uh, Minister uh, Nitin Gadkari Saab for the MSME and uh, part of the India Assembly Forum as well. Fighting with them for supporting the uh, MSME industry in India. Huge job losses. People have uh, not paid salaries for the month of April. People are struggling to pay salaries. So when I'm saying this, I'm saying here, what can this future leader, this student today, play a role and <clears throat> in salvaging from individual to family, to teams, to the society, and irrespective of caste, creed, gender, nationality, religion, I don't care which religion, which color, which nationality we, you come from. Even if we have somebody as a foreigner in our country and we need to support him. If somebody is any other religion, I don't care. So far as we are concerned as human race, can you take some steps right away? Instead of crying what's going on, let's get into a mode of salvaging what is getting wrong. Become a volunteer. Go, set, go and act wherever you can do, even if you do some very small thing. Doesn't matter. One drop, second drop, third drop, it can be a big ocean. So let's start contributing. Let's not sleep over it. You need to take an action. When you take an action, then you can suddenly, <clears throat> talking about uh, where we uh, uh, can be, when you look at second S, which is stress, now, are you in stress? Not at all. In case you as a future leader, Yangistan is in stress, it's not expected. It's not possible. It's such a huge, tough, difficult, volatile circumstances of life. There can be huge stress. But then, you need not to be in stress. I know we are looking at people, sick people, we are looking at old people, we are looking at anxieties of people, isolation of people. People don't have their children with them. One of our masses expired in 
a place called Udhampur in JNK, have two children could not attend the funeral. They are still uh, away from that place. They could not attend all 12, 13 days, uh, you know, uh, rituals. So what kind of anxiety they must be going through? What kind of isolation they must be through? There are many people like that. So when you look at people and Yangistan has to identify hey, there are people who have this kind of isolation, this kind of anxiety, living alone, maybe an elderly couple or a person, a woman or a man living alone. It's going to affect the mental, it's going to affect the heart, there are going to be heart attacks. There are going to be mental pains going out of things. And Sorry to interrupt, Bakshi sir. Uh, yeah. Actually, we are left with last one minute. So, in case we disconnect, please get, uh, please join us back with using uh, the same link. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will join. So, and all participants are also requested to please join us back. People losing jobs, companies losing business. What you can. Are you still on? Yes, yes, yes. Do you need to take a stock of that? Assess the threat level. People might use alcohol. You know what has happened in India? There are queues of alcohol. You know, people are mad about alcohol. What's going on? So overdose of alcohol will be killing. Can we guide these people? Of course, with maintaining social distance into having a mask, getting and supporting, volunteering to an extent. You need to help people who are really 